My name is John Cannell. I'm the counselor here at Crawford Woods Elementary. My name is Audrey Young, and I am a elementary school counselor at Freedom Elementary in the Lakota School District. My awareness of Companions on a Journey started, I want to say it's been now maybe eight or nine years ago. And honestly, it was uh, born out of uh, a struggle, born out of uh, really some student tragedies. My son had suffered the loss of a friend due to suicide and it was a very challenging time and as a parent my heart was broken for the family but my heart was also concerned for my son and how do I get him through this. I knew I was going to have to deal with death. I certainly wasn't looking forward to it because for me anyway that's probably one of the toughest subjects to deal with. Often talking about feelings and emotions and hurt and pain is one of the things that for whatever reason our society tells young men not to do. Behavior issues or friendship issues, that's something that you can talk to the student and work out a, a, a way, a plan to fix whatever it is, And but obviously death you can't fix, so you just have to try to get it to uh, where they can deal with it better. Uh, when I was in my early 20s, my mother and father passed away about a year apart. And so, you know, the way that I worked through that was to lean on my wife, to uh, work through a spiritual director. But I really never had the real opportunity to process it uh, in a, a really healthy, informative way like I have through Companions on a Journey. Companions on a Journey has become a huge support for our students and families in need. One big thing is uh, that I've witnessed as far as the outcomes from COJ is kids sharing ideas about how they deal with their loss. You see students be more empathetic towards one another. Um, when somebody else experiences a loss of somebody, that student that has built skill and formed a community and a bond through Companions on a Journey, they are able to uplift other people and other students, other classmates. For the hour of time that we're together in Companions on a Journey, uh, the young men can let their guards down. Simply feel, right, that sacred wound that they've experienced through the loss of a loved one. Companions on a Journey has really gave them a foundation upon which to be able to say, grief is real. It's something that we as human beings, them as young men, need to attend to, need to work on together with other people, right? And doing that in, in, a, in a space like COJ creates. They don't seem as lonely. A lot of them, when they first lose the loved one, they, they kind of crawl into their shell and, and are real quiet and lonely. But now they know, wow, there's a whole bunch of people out there that are going through the same type of thing I am and there's other kids and adults that care and are trying to help me out. And so I don't see them as lonely and, and, and quiet as much anymore. Death is a part of life, but the best part of Companions on a Journey is we acknowledge the feelings of loss, but we also celebrate that life so that they can stay with us, those warm memories, and we can continue their legacy of that loved one that was lost. And, and that's what I love, and the kids love that. I think ultimately they take that with them and that helps them define what makes them a real person, a real man. And that is invaluable to their health and well-being. So we started off, I believe, about six years ago with five or six kids. And I know last year um, it was up to almost 30 to where we had to divide to do two groups because, I mean, so it, it's grown five, six hundred percent just a, a few short years. I just feel like it gives them hope. It gives them hope that, yes, we do have things, we do have loss in our lives, but we can be resilient and move through this. I think Companions on a Journey, I know Companions on a Journey helps build resiliency in kids so that they can go on, be productive, and be the best version of themselves. They will see me in the hallway 
And like, even if they're supposed to be quiet and they're walking the hallways, going to lunch or gym, they'll be like, when's COJ? When's COJ? <laughs> and then uh, I'll tell them, hey, don't forget COJ's Friday. It's Friday? Oh, and they're jumping up and down. And I mean, you've taken something that is normally very touchy and sad and depressing for them to where they are very excited. They, they can, you know, they miss their, their relatives terribly still but you've turned it into a thing that's really makes them happy. So they're extremely excited about it. 